this is a stem motor I have. I will operate this stem motor using my Raspberry Pi. I will show you. But you need a motor controller. So first, you have to connect the stem motor's wire to the L298N motor driver module. And if you closely look at the stem motor, there are only four lines in my case. So let's say this is line number one, line number two, line number three, and line, line number four. So there are only four lines. And you have, you have to connect this to the L298N motor driver module. Now if you see L298N motor driver, there are two line that connected to motor in left side and there are another two line and you have to connect this four line to your stem motor and if you take a look at the board do you see the number out one out two here out three and out four so this is a schematic of the the motor driver module and stem motors the line and simply you can connect this first line to out two and second line to out one and third line goes to out four and fourth line that goes to okay this is the final connection so number three goes to out four and number four goes to out three let's check my connection is correct so this yellow line connected to out two right then this orange line is connected to out one then this blue line is connected to out four then this red line is connected to out three okay the so next is the connection to Raspberry Pi and let's say the his his in the top and in the bottom there are four lines and in this four line it is say con Two C yeah C O N two C O N two and you can connect your four line to here. So this is a schematic of the so this is a schematic of the L two nine eight N and this is heat sink in top and in bottom there is a con two terminal and there are four pin and let's say this is number one two three four so you have to connect this four pin to your Raspberry Pi so as you know Raspberry Pi has 40 GPIO pin and let's say this GPIO one two three four five six seven eight and this con pin number one Com pin number one should go to pin number eight. So this one should go to pin number eight, like this. Then com pin number two 
Shoot a goal to pin number seven, like this. Then this con to pin number three should go to number eleven. Number nine is ground; he cannot uh, carry any signal. So number three, this one goes number eleven. Then count to number four pin should go to number thirteen. Then in in your Raspberry Pi, you can control pin number seven, eight, eleven, thirteen, so that the the four signals goes to count to terminal. Then this uh, motor controller amplify the signal then it control to step motor so this contour signal is amplified and become larger signal in this out one two three four terminal so four to four conversion but this l298 and motor controller amplify the signal in, in larger uh, voltage so to do that you have to provide power supply to this motor controller and actually these are the power controller this power controller so in here just laptop con2 there are three uh, connector and the center one is the ground so this one is ground and left one is the power supply for your motor so it's a high voltage and right one this one is the power for this L298 and itself. So this is a, the power for the board. In here, board means the L298 and 8N. Okay? Okay, so as I told you earlier, the center one is ground. And let's see where I connect this ground. It goes to large bell pies ground. So this is the 40 GPIO pin map. And if you go pin number 25, this is the ground. So you can connect your motor controller's ground to here. Then you need to control you, uh, you need to connect this uh, power of a stem motor controller to 5 volt. Actually, in Raspberry Pi, this pin number 2 and 4 are 5 volt. So you can connect uh, this pin to either of these two. In my case, I connected to number 4. So this can supply the power to the board. Then this is a the, the plus of the the motor power supply. You have to use external power supply. So if you take a look at closely look at it, there are jumper terminal in here. I just unplug this. If you unplug, this means L298N will use external power supply. So I just remove this. Usually this jumper uh, need to jumper need to remove when your external power is more than 12 volt then you use this uh, uh, additional power to your board. So in my case I decide to use this external motor power supply is about 20 volt 
so which is larger than 12 volt so i will remove this jumper then this board need the additional 5 volt to support this uh, power for this uh, motor controller if you use uh, motor power supply lower than 12 volt you don't need this you don't need to connect this to 5 volt you can just it is enough to use the 12 volt power supply so you can supply both your motor and the board the l298 and board then in this case you put this jumper back to the the this pin okay but in my case again i will use 20 volt so which is larger than 12 volt so i remove this jumper then i will connect the plus of 20 volt here and ground of the 20 volt then in here i will connect this to 5 volt to the large bell pi so it can supply the board so currently i connected it, it to the 5 volt of the large bell pi which is the pin number 4 let me remove this i will just remove this so i disconnect it then see the 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 motor controller board is dead so this 5 volt will supply the power to the board especially when the when i use the external power source so now power is back so this one is for board power okay and this one is for motor power and this is ground then let me show you what i use for the motor's power if you closely look at it you see this plus is plus red line is connected to this this line and in ground also black line is connected so in 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 center put i have two ground one goes to large bell pi's ground for 5 volt and the other one goes to this external power supplies ground and let me show you what I use. This is my external power supply for the stem model. This is 20 volt. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, it's a 24 volt. 24 volt. And uh, the ampere is 0.75 ampere. Actually, I took this adapter from a broken portable the humidifier. So I have a uh air humidifier portable air humidifier but that one is broken and i just took this uh, adapter power adapter and i stripped the tip uh to get the the line and i i just connected so i can use this and this is 24 volt but i think this board can endure because the the important thing is the capacitor and capacitor rating is 35 volt that means i mean i'm sorry this capacitor can endure until 35 volt so i think it's enough if you search regular l298 as the voltage range for the operation uh, it can cover from 5 volt until 35 volt so the 24 volt power supply i'm using is good enough so I think the motor controller will endure. Okay, the next is the the software. So I connected the GPIO to the board and the GPIO to stem motor controller or motor controller to nine eight n. I mean, sorry, L298N motor controller. Then I connect it to the stem motor. So hardware setup is okay. Now let's do the software. So I made a Python code to run the control, the GPIO 
uh, pin so that I can move the stem model. Let me show you my code. I uploaded this Python code to my GitHub. I will uh, copy the GitHub link to the this video's uh, description so you can check the link and there are four Python file but the main is main on the bus step on the model on the run that py you can simply run this one using Python uh, in your terminal I will simply execute Python space main star dot py well you can just type all of the file name it's up to you and just I will hit enter then uh, if you want to have a clockwise turn enter negative integer if you turn the counterclockwise turn just enter positive integer this is the coding and let me try I put some white tape to see the the axis is spinning I will type positive integer thousand and I will hit enter it's rotating counterclockwise then I will enter minus thousand now it's rotating clockwise so I successfully controlled the stem model using L298N stem model controller actually just model controller and Raspberry Pi thank you for watching